MMA Fight Corner. Right now, guys, we do have on Justin Gaethje, World Series of Fighting, on with us today here. Uh, we're going to talk about this World Series of Fighting proposed matchup card against Bellator. Justin, thanks for coming on late notice with us. How are you, bud? Hey, guys, I'm doing good. I'm doing really well. Fantastic. So you have this upcoming title shot here for the inaugural lightweight belt against Rich Petishnok that's just been recently announced. So uh, how did you feel about the change of opponent? Um, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, we as fighters, we uh, we always are, uh, you know, expecting it or, you know, it's always in the back of our mind that it could happen to us or to our opponent. So, you know, it's uh, something that we have to adapt to. It's something that I've, uh, you know, I was, I, I like to stay, stick to my game plan. You know, that's one thing that I've always always been um you know up front of it you know, i'm gonna i'm gonna have my game plan you know, i don't worry about my opponents too much and i just uh worry about you know making them stop stop what i have to do well, Justin, it was originally scheduled to be Jay Z Cavalcante you, you were going to fight, uh, who's a, who's a big known you know contender. He's been in the sport for a long time. At one point, he was one of the top fighters in the division, um, and then it got switched to Luis Gonzalez, and now it's Rich Petishnok. Um, do you feel that kind of not tarnishes, but it's like not as if you do get the win, it's not as big to you because it wasn't against a, a big top name guy like Jay Z, and it's a guy who only fought once on the undercard. Oh. In a way, I mean, I already beat Jay Z, so that's that's really not a good example per se. But um, yeah, I mean, I would, always, you know, I look for the biggest opportunities possible. But you know, a world title is a world title, and uh, for the World Series of Fighting, you know, and you know, I know after that comes comes just you know better and better competition. So you know, I need to get that belt, get myself established as a champion, you know, and then get that target on my back, like I like I've been like I've been really looking to do. Uh, Justin, you talked about your game plan and something that we've seen you establish. Well, there's a couple things when you've got those power slams that uh, you've kind of become notorious for. And also those leg kicks, yeah, how you've been able to stifle your opponent's offense with those leg kicks. In fact, you stopped Brian Cobb with them. Uh, what's going into your game plan here against Rich? Um, it's really going to be the same thing as always, you know, it's, uh... I've been really working on my head moving. You know, I always got to make my head move my uh, my defense, striking defense, you know, better. Needs always improve. But um, you know, I just really got to stick with the same game plan. You know, I go out there and really, um, you know, imply, 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 imply my game, you know, on and really just force them to, you know, to start thinking and start thinking about, you know, like what's going on, what am I going to do, you know, when, they, when their stuff, you know, they were looking to do really isn't working. So that's really what I uh, I look forward to. I really look forward to pushing the pace and really getting him flustered so he can't really, uh, you know, come forward with any of his punches or takedowns or anything he's going to try to do. Justin, switching gears a little bit, when Dave first brought you on the show, he mentioned uh, a proposal that World Series of Fighting matchmaker Ali Abadizari had brought up on another show, uh, Ariel Hawani's MMA Hour, and the proposal was to do a, a, a pay-per-view event where the World Series of Fighting would take on Bellator, and it was World Series of Fighting roster versus Bellator roster, and in this proposed, by the way, which I think is an awesome idea. Oh, it's, a, would, it's an amazing fight would, card if it gets I would, done. Yeah. I would buy, okay, when pay, when Bellator came out with a pay-per-view, I was like, there's no way I'm buying this. The only fight I really want to see is Chandler Alvarez. I'm not paying any money. When that fight went, got switched to, to, to regular TV, I was happy. But a World right, Series yeah, of Fighting yeah. Bellator pay-per-view, I would definitely buy. And in this proposed card for this pay-per-view event, they had you matched up against either uh, uh, Eddie Alvarez or Michael Chandler. So I'd like to yeah, get your take me. On both of them as potential opponents, who you'd like to fight more, and how you see your fight going with either of them? Oh, you know, I see that either way. Either one of those guys, you know, is the opportunity that I I want. You know, that's what I've trained for, and that's what I'm here for. Is the opportunity to fight someone like uh, you know Chandler or Alvarez. That being said, you know, I think Chandler is a best uh, better wrestler. Um, you know, it might be a better matchup against me, but um, and you know, Eddie Alvarez, you know, he's Phenomenal on his feet, clearly. So you know, those are two completely different matchups. You know, I think either one of them are two different fights that I would really enjoy. Either way, you know, one's a stand-up war and one's more of a scramble war. So uh, you know, those sound fun to me, and you know, I'd like nothing more than to represent the world series of fighting against you know against anybody right now. That's who I'm under contract with, and that's who I'll be uh, you know be representing. Chandler's definitely a guy who, uh, you know, he's 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 very. You're very similar to him in my book, where you're both, you know, great accomplished wrestlers, and you've really come into the striking arts. And now you're not just feared for your wrestling; you're feared for your striking. 
Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly what he is. And me and him have very similar styles and very, uh, you know, I'm sure people playing uh, playing against us very similar. You know, we both come forward, and you know, he moves a little bit better head movement, better, not better, but more head movement than I do. You know, I I come forward a little much, but um, ah, it would be a great matchup. I mean, that I would if I was a fan, that that'd be a fight that I would want to see. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot right here. I, I want to get a prediction out of you. Um, Justin Gaethje versus Eddie Alvarez, what's the outcome? How does it happen? And Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler, what's the outcome? How does it happen? Oh, man, you are putting me on the spot. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm, do, I'm doing what I'm doing for one reason, and that's because I believe that I'm the best. And I don't believe that there's anybody in the world at 155 pounds that can lock themselves in cages with me and march me down and, you know, whoop my butt. I don't think that could happen. So, and and it's going to happen one day, don't get me wrong. I just, you know, I don't see it happening. I'm confident in myself. But, I mean, if I was to get a fight with either one of those guys, you know, I would push the pace. And, you know, I would, who know, I, I can't say what, how it would finish or end, you know, but I guarantee that it would be one because those guys aren't going to give up. You know, those guys are going to push back. And, you know, it's going to be, I, I could only imagine what kind of fight that could be. You know, I would want to be a part of it. And, you know, I would, take as much time as I needed to and I would train and be in the best shape of my life because those are the opportunities that I'm looking for right now. Justin, Dave Carney here again with you. Obviously, you are the main event of World Series of Fighting 8, which is going on uh, January 18th, 2014. It's coming up uh, right around the co- uh, corner here from, from Florida. Another uh, trip down to Florida for the promotion. But right underneath of you, there is another really exciting fight on this card, and that's Anthony Johnson going up against Mike Kyle. Now, let me ask you, Justin, how excited are you to be a part of a promotion like World Series of Fighting, where not only do you get to fight for a championship, but you also get to be part of a really entertaining and eventful fight card? I mean, how much does that mean for you in this stage of your career? I mean, if you were, if we had an interview a year ago and you told me this is where I'd be, you know, I, I wouldn't. I, it's, you know, I, I'm taking it one step at a time. I don't even know. I can't even, I don't even know. Um, you know, last fight I fought, you know, John Fitch was on there, birthed me. You know, it's, just, it's, it's all been just a crazy, crazy roller coaster ride for me. And I'm really, you know, I love it. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for a better opportunity than what the World Series of Fighting is providing for me right now. You talk about uh, some of the things that have made you and this work ethic that you have. Uh, some of your humble roots come from, you're from a family full of miners that all work down in Arizona, and you, in fact, did that a little bit yourself, from what I understand. How has that work experience and that background helped you maintain your focus and your work ethic going through this experience? Wait, 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 wait. Justin, you're not 21? Uh, get it, miners? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, back to the question, though. Seriously, <laughs> I couldn't help that one. You know, Joey. 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 Joey's Joey's headlining the Golden Nuggets Sunday through Thursday up here. He's he's got a he's got a little lounge show. In so the ba- back, so ba- by the dumpster. Exactly. Bear with him as yeah. he goes through these. Justin, that was that was definitely a Trevor Whitman joke, huh? Yes. Yeah, one hundred. Are you going to be at the fight? Oh yeah, I'll be. I, hopefully, I'm talking to you in the cage uh, after we slap that bell around that belt around your waist. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, I have some words for you. Um, but um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, but yeah, coming from you know coming from a really small town and everything. That's uh, you know, if you're from a small town, you know, uh, you know what kind of lessons you know more. Is, that's the only things you teach. You know, I've lived in a, this is the first time I've ever lived in the city, being here in Denver now. And, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot different. You know, there's so many things here to do, you know, in, in, Sa- in Stafford, where I'm from, you know, we have a mountain and a river. And, um, you know, that was it. You either went up to the mountain or you went to the river. And, and that's, that's what we, we all, I was outside, you know, one, you know, I, I didn't have any video. I never had a video game console. I never had anything like that. I was never inside. I was outside, you know, from from when I woke up to when I went down. So that's that's something I think has helped me, you know, in general, just just staying active my whole life. And yeah, I mean, my dad has worked his butt off to provide me and my brother and my sisters and my family with everything that I've ever asked for. You know, and I see how hard he's worked and um, you know the kind of dedication that it does take to uh, to be successful, or even when you're not successful, to you know to still succeed and still push through those those things. So. Those are things that you know I've I've always I always uh, take take with me. You know, I'll never take anything for granted. I'm always going to work 100, percent you know, for every fight, for every opportunity that I get.
You know, uh, I know that your roommate, Tyler Stinson, had also recently signed with the promotion, and he said that part of the reason he did was because you had uh, such great treatment from the World Series of Fighting that it encouraged him to also want to sign with them. Uh, However, I was reading on your Twitter a little bit ago that he's now not going to be on the televised main card. What are we going to do to try to push that for him? Are you guys going to help us out? What's that? Yeah, we're trying. Yeah, to yeah. Let's right do now. it. We're doing it right now. We're doing it right now. What do we need to do about this? Hold on, let me um, let me see what the Twitter is. Let me see what the thing is. Steve or Steve on TV is that what it is? Yeah, he he played handle Steve on eighty four. But if you uh, he got a little thing going. It's, what is it? I just I just followed him. All right, so we're gonna do that. At MMA World Series. I'm going to say hashtag C on TV. Let's get him on there. For I sure. Can you give me, he's going to come with a knockout. I mean, what? Uh, it's going to be an exciting fight. I mean, I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't want to speculate on anything on why he's taking up or why the other guy was putting on or why anything like that. But, you know, we need to do something to get him back on that TV card. For sure. And, and, you know, and let's play devil's advocate here a, a little bit as well, Justin. Let, let's talk about, you know, more to do with TV. I mean, obviously, you know, Joey had brought up what I what I led in here with the the Bellator versus World Series of Fighting proposed pay-per-view. You know, and, and they've got you potentially pitted up with a couple of great guys. And I know, you know, it's hard to say that you wouldn't win in this fight. But when you look at, at the World Series of Fighting promotion as it stands right now, and I've asked this to a lot of different people, do you feel that, that the talent that you guys have on your roster right now is really rival? the Bellators, and, you know, and kind of moving up to that number two, number two, you know, three tier here before the UFC. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's not one like, well, I mean, well, like us, is there that thing? They have a, you know, a guy that would just dominate our division. I mean, I, I don't see anyone, you know, that, that we have and that, or that we don't have and they have that can't, can't go in there and put on a, a heck of a fight. So, you know, I see. We'll see this. We'll, this is our first year. I mean, how long has Bellator been? How long has Bellator been around? Gosh, I don't know. That's a great question. Four or five years? Yeah, four Three or five or years. I mean, and we're already, um, you know, we're rivaling them. So, I mean, it's great. Great things are happening right now for the World Series. We're going to go to Japan, Canada, Brazil. I mean, um, those are those are things that I want to do, and uh, those are things that I'm able to do with this company, and it, it's just awesome for us. Yeah, no, it's 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 going to be great, and uh, you know, again, World Series of Fighting coming up uh, January. You know, 2014 is going to be a huge year. It's going to be a huge year for you too. I mean, I know you're excited. Uh, we'll leave you here uh, with the parting thoughts that at the MMA Fight Corner, generally, when we talk to guys here on the show, they come away ultra victorious, and I don't mean like just victorious, but ultra victorious. Ultra so, victorious. Ho- you know, hopefully, we've laid some of this on you because I'm looking at your your record here, and, and since your amateur days, you haven't lost a fight, and, and I would hate and, to see that break and, here. Uh, 10 pro fights, 7 amateur fights, 17 total fights, only 2 decisions. Jeez. 8 knockouts. 8, eight yeah, knockouts. Some... I, am, I wish I can go back and change that, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've been talking to Justin Gaethje here on the MMA Fight Corner. Justin, thanks so much for coming on with us on uh, such short notice, my friend. And and best of luck to you. World Series of Fighting 8 is coming up right around the corner, of course. We'll all be tuned in, NBC Sports, and all the other great places to catch it. Thanks for coming on with us today. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it very much. See you in Florida, brother.